welcome to a special edition of Real Easy Cooking with Robert. Uh, it's come across in my life a big question on food and how long you want to keep food for. Like canned foods, uh, canned green beans a lot of times will say it's good for two to five years. But if you check with the FDA, it's good for roughly seven years or longer. They say with modern canning methods, they're not really sure how long. If the can isn't dented, isn't rusted, isn't bloated, it's still good depending on the pH of the item lasts longer. Uh, 10 years is a minimum usually. This on the other hand, Spam, they say lasts indefinitely because it's pH balanced at seven and it's a perfect item in a perfect can. Once again, not dented, no leaks, anything like that. Kept at stable room temperature, should last forever. So the question becomes then, if I'm stocking up my pantry and saving a few extra in case of uh, food shortages or rampant inflation or just to be prepared for winter, is it really worth it to get good ones or the store brand one? This at Walmart is like $3.67. This at Walmart is like $1.67. Same as with their green beans is roughly $1.25 at most stores locally here. And their Walmart brand is 50 cents. Well, that's more than double the price. I could get two cans of these to put on the shelf versus one of these. And there might be a difference in the hams but I don't know if there's really a difference in green beans. It's a plant, it's grown in the ground. I think that they would probably be the same. We, we're going to test that today. The uh, same as with uh, fruit cocktails. Now this, I could see there would be a difference, but now Walmart don't make this. They don't make any of these products here or any of the other great value products. They go to a factory that already makes these products and says, hey, uh, can you slap our label on a 10 million of the cans? And they go, sure, give us some money. You know, you can do that too. If you had money, you could have your own version of spam and try to sell it under your own name, Joey's Spam or whatever you wanted to call it. Uh, so I, I don't, I really wonder if there's a big difference between some of these products. And we're going to test that, see if I can save money while I'm stocking my kitchen. Let's uh, find out. We're going to start with the first one. Uh, let's start with, what do you want to start with? Well, let's start with the green beans and freak the cat out because anytime I use a can opener in this house, the cat usually is running on my feet. This is the generic one. Decent, good. Color ain't bad. Let's compare that to the next one. Hey, well, besides this being a slightly different style, this is uh, kitchen sliced green beans. And these are just cut green beans, so they're bigger. But you can see the, the color is slightly different on these. They're slightly lighter. About the same. It'll make it easier for us to tell which, which is which when we're, when we're cooking them with dinner tonight. The fruit cocktail next. Dessert. Oh, we've got time to put them in the fridge. We'll put the good one in the brown bowl. It's got brown, this one's got blue. That way we can tell them apart. Let's 
couple cherries at the bottom. And looks like a can. Doesn't look like it's lined very well. It's on the Del Monte brand. Let's try the great value. Okay, well, I can tell you already which one I like. That's pretty obvious just by looking. The great value has bigger chunks. This is kind of like mushy and not very good looking. This looks like it's already been puked. This looks like it's been chopped and it's ready to eat. They're both in 100% juice. So they both should be processed the same amount. This one looks better. A spoon and see if they taste different. I'm try. Has a piece of pear. They're fruit. They taste the same. The juice tastes the same. The juice tastes the same. Just that this one has bigger chunks this one looks like it's been already minced this one has two three cherries because that's the important part right this one has two so this one has half a cherry more and mushed peach pieces and this one has huge peach pieces so I'm calling it for great value just on fruit cocktail. That's definitely save your money, get the get the generic one from Walmart. Let's see what the spam looks like next. So like I said, this should last forever. That's why people in Hawaii eat the hell out of it. Uh, we're going to use this in dinner tonight, so. It's going to be okay that I'm cooking, opening both of them, I guess. Whew. It still smells like dog food to me. All it's supposed to be is just processed ham pushed into a can, sealed, and then they cook the can. That's why it's good forever. It's pathogen free. And it's been fully cooked. Okay. Let's compare the differences. This one has some gelatin on it. This does not. This looks quite white and thick. This looks more processed. So visual inspection, I'd say where you can see the bigger chunks of meat and bigger chunks of fat in the generic one, as opposed to this one, which is way more processed and everything's smaller. can't really tell yet we'll have to see when we cook them but so far that one tastes the real spam tastes slightly less disgusting all right i'm gonna get some frying pans we're gonna cub some cubes of this we're gonna fry them up so that i can have put them in dinner tonight let me get some frying pans and stuff so we're gonna take a piece of slimy meat here cut it off and Eighth to quarter inch strips. What we don't use in tonight's dinner, we're going to use in breakfast tomorrow as we make a spam omelet. Spamlet, I guess so. I guess you'd call it. 
I don't know. I guess you wouldn't call it either that. That'd be stupid. You don't even really need a knife to cut this. You could probably use a butter knife. A spoon. This stuff's pretty mushy. You know, it's processed meat if you've never had it. I'm surprised they have other flavors there of like actual spam and flavor flavors. Like smoked. Smoked hickory, that would probably be pretty good. Like they say, all it is is chopped ham pushed into a can and then cooked inside the can. So I'm going to twice down there, twice down the length, and then just cut them out tiny little cubes. What the great value brand does seem to be have more f white fat in it than and bigger chunks of meat though also. That might be good, might not. We'll find out when it cooks. By the way, this is a not sponsored by anyone. They would never sponsor me to test their shit. They would not like my answers no matter what I'd say. Ask Plotchman's. I hope this turns out good because I got a lot of this to eat tonight. There the cats do. I bet you cats would like it. Hey, you can definitely tell a visual difference even after it's been cut. And you can tell how hot your pan is either by using a digital thermometer or just by looking at your oil. How fast your oil moves tells you how hot your pan is. Your oil will get thinner as your pan gets hotter. And if your oil is smoking, you're probably too damn hot. Throw a piece in for test. See? Not just barely starting to. Means I can assume this pan is probably at the same temperature. So we'll wait just a few more minutes as we get this separated. I'll try one in one and one in the other. does smell like dog food though.
like a flame. I'm gonna let these cook for a bit. I'll keep stirring them as they're cooking. Remember, I cut these really small, so they want to put them in an omelet tomorrow morning. My job's already done. Work smarter, not harder. Same myth, especially when you're in the kitchen. It's number one food in Hawaii. I think it's just because you can ship this meat forever across, you know, boats take a while sometimes. Especially if you're trying to unload them right now. So I'm trying to brown all the sides of it. The stuff's already pre-cooked in the can. That's why I was able to test it straight out of the can. It's not like I'm a cannibal eating raw meat. I try not to do that often. Well, as it's cooking, this definitely looks better. This looks more like just diced ham. This looks yummy. Like I'm getting hungry watching this stuff. This, I don't know, it looks more real, like real ham, which reminds me more of like turkey or something. And it looks like canned turkey, canned chicken breasts. Now, of course, you can always add flavoring to these. Salt, pepper is pretty common, although it probably has some salt already on it. But you can add uh, liquid smoke, make it taste like smoked ones. You can add, of course, paprika is what I would normally add to it. You can add anything, uh, cumin, turmeric, depending on the meal, you know. Just season up, it's it's literally just canned ham. Whoop, one went under the fire. We're gonna see if they're flammable now. This one's coloring nice. This one, while well, I'm sure it's cooking, this isn't getting the color. It, it just isn't getting the color that the other one does. We'll let it keep cooking for a bit, see if it colors up later. This one's Coloring nice, it's starting to get that nice cooked, cooked bacon look. It's starting to smell good too. I figure people don't get there, see? All right, I'm gonna call it and say that they're both done. Well, they were already done out of the can, but I mean that they're both seasoned. And try one of them, I'm gonna put them in the bowl with 
paper towel to absorb any extra grease. Ooh, that was close. Tastes like salty, mushy ham. Tastes more solid, more real. Oh, there you go. I got a solution for it then. If you are going out visual, this looks the best. This looks beautiful. This is a beautiful looking product. I mean, I'd eat this all day, especially if you didn't know what it was. This tastes more like real ham and is more chunky, but it doesn't look as good. So, yummy, looks good, tastes better. Uh, if you're eating it in the dark, go with this. Yep, that's my answer. Romantic dinner meal to Derek Spam. Public meal where you're showing your friends, real Spam. So it's, uh, we'll find out about the green beans in a little bit. All right, so I've been stirring them over open fire. The easy way of stirring. Now let's, I have noticed that the generic one did have a couple stems in it. More stems than the cut one. Actually, the Green Giant ones taste uh, more stringy, more past their prime. The generic ones taste better. So, there you go. Which to get, generic or good? When it comes to green beans or something base, a base plant, go with the cheapest one because a green bean is really a green bean. You're just as likely to get shitty one in an expensive can than you are on a cheap one, so go with the good one. When it comes to fruit cocktail or something that's similar of that, it's surprisingly a horse apiece. Um, I was surprised that the great value was extremely better than the name brand one. And then when we go to something that's heavily processed, like Spam, here they are mixed together. You can tell which is which even by looking. Imitation, real Spam. Imitation Spam, real Spam. Uh, they have their different qualities. The Imitation Spam looks better, is more solid, tastes slightly better. The real one, I mean the, the Imitation one, was more chunkier, more... And the, the real one looks better. More even consistency. Not that it's a good consistency. I prefer the inconsistency of having little chunks of meat and little chunks of fat. So, I'd have to say, at least two out of three times, if not more. Great value is actually great value. And I think I'm going to start stocking up with these for the time being to have in case times get hard or grocery stores run out of stuff again you know stuff like that so it's been real easy cooking with robert and a special report on how to save some money and keep your pantry full done